once you've completed your drawing you need to get your output in paper format and before getting your output you need to arrange those drawings properly with all the information like scale layout sheet number and other informations now those informations are added in the title block of a drawing so AutoCAD offers some standard title block for you and those title block can be inserted in a drawing from templates. So for that, click on this new blank drawing and here you will see list of all the templates which are present in the drawing. We generally use ACAD.DWT template but when you move on to this tutorial IR, it will show you a preview of template. So this is the template which is present along with the title block. So here's the title block for this template. And here is one for manufacturing. And here is one more, which is for metric, architectural and manufacturing. So let's select one manufacturing template from here and let's click on open. So here we have one ready-made template in our drawing. And when you zoom in here, you'll see that it has got all the parameters sheet number, scale, drawing number and other things in the drawing along with a scale around the drawing. It also has this viewport in which you can insert your drawing and some information here which you can add. And when you hover your cursor over this template, you'll see that this one is a block which appears here as block reference. So the template can be inserted as a block and you can modify them just like any other blocks or drawing object but if you're not satisfied with the template which is present here then you can add your own template as well so i'll close this and i'll plot this drawing using our own custom template so now let's go to this layout tab and here you will see this layout already present in the drawing let's erase this viewport we don't need it and now right click on this layout and go to page setup manager so first we will decide the size of plot or the size of paper in which we want to get the output so select layout one click on modify and now from this drop down select the plotter we want dwg to pdf plotter that means we want this drawing to plot into a pdf format and from here select ISO A3 paper size. So here we have this ISO A3 paper size. Now let's click on OK. Let's close it. So the paper size has been adjusted. Now let's go to insert from this block table. So let's go to insert, click on more options, and now go to browse. Locate the title block. So I have got this title block, and you can download this A3 title block from link in the description. So let's select this and click on OK. Click on OK again and here we have this title block. So let's insert this title block into our drawing area and here we have the title block. Now here also when you zoom in you'll see that all the informations are present like revision, scale, date, project, drawing title and other things that you can insert into our drawing. So now let's go to this layout tab which will be present whenever you are in layout. Click on this viewports select rectangular and make a viewport here. Now we have our drawing inside this viewport. Now let's double click inside and let's change the scale of this drawing. So right now here a random scale is assigned. Let's change it to one is to four equals to one. And here's the scale of our drawing. You can pan it a little bit to fit it completely in our drawing. So here I have made some adjustments. Click outside and now our drawing is ready to plot. But before that, we need to enter some information in our title block. For entering some informations, we can use fields. But before fields, let's explore it. So select this block, press X on command line and press enter. So this will explode your title block into its individual constituents. Now go to insert tab, and click on field. So fields are automatic elements that can be added and they will update themselves automatically. So you don't need to edit them again and again. And I'll use these fields for entering information in our drawing. So let's first enter this drawing name, which is house plan. So for that, let's scroll down. And here you'll notice this file name. 
So here we have this file name, which will be the name of this drawing. Now, from this format, select uppercase or lowercase or whatever you want. So I'm selecting uppercase, so everything will be in uppercase. Now, would you like to have complete file name or complete file name plus path? We only want file name, so select file name, which is houseplan.dwg and click OK. So now here we have this houseplan.dwg name. Let's place it into the drawing title. So here is the drawing title. Let's click here. And now here we have this houseplan.dwg. Now it's completely falling outside this box. We need to resize it, select it, right click and go to properties. And now scroll down and from here, change this text height to two by 16 inches. So type two and press tab. So now this will obviously be one by eight of an inch and the size has changed. So let's close it and press escape key. In a similar way, you can add date for the drawing. Now you can enter other information in the drawing using fields. You can enter the logo of your company here by inserting the image and other information. So now our drawing is complete with title block and other information. Now let's go and plot this drawing. So for plotting, click on plot. We have already selected plotter. We have already selected paper size also. Let's click on OK. Specify a uh, location, which is desktop, and save it. And here is the final output, which we will obtain. And this output will contain our title block here with all the information that we have selected. So as you can see that the information is also present and this will always be updated. So if you change the date, it will always be plotted with the current date. So you don't need to worry about changing date and other information.